Hello everyone and welcome back to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Shopify as well as that creating an online store using this e-commerce platform. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, most would know about Shopify. Of course, if you are looking to start an online business, Shopify is a great choice, more for the fact that it's user friendly, it's affordable, and it offers a wide range of features to help you customize your store and sell products online. So before we get started on looking into creating a Shopify store, let's have a look at why Shopify is a great choice for your online store. Now, of course, it does have its benefits and the benefits being the fact that uh, Shopify is purely an e-commerce platform, which gives it great advantages as an e-commerce platform and you've also got quite a few pricing plans or three pr pricing plans to choose from on the Shopify website builder. Now just so we can have a quick overview on the pricing plans uh, we'll go ahead and check them out. Now as you can see starting off with the first one you've got the most popular which is the basic and that comes at around £25 per month and it's within as well £1 for your first month. Now you could go ahead and view the credit card rates there and what's included on the basic. Next you've got your Shopify which it comes at £65 per month with the credit card detail, uh, credit card rates as well and your um, features for your Shopify. And lastly you've got the advanced which comes at £344 um, of course with uh, some changes on the credit card rates and what would be included on the advanced. So you've got a customer report builder, you've got up to a thousand inventory locations and 15 staff accounts. Just be sure to overview this. Uh, this is one of the key steps when starting off with Shopify. Of course, you want to choose the right plan uh, going forward. Now, there are ways to compare the plan features. So you'll see here uh, what's ticked and checked. Uh, they all have their storefronts. They've got inventory locations as well. Uh, the only thing that the advanced carries is the fact that it has third party calculated shipping rates, which may be necessary if you wanna go ahead and do a load of the global selling as well. Or these are more, more to do with the third party apps uh, within the checkout. So some of the features that you may decide to use uh, of course, as well as that, the basic doesn't have the e-commerce automation, so automated uh, manual tasks, build workflows, uh, a form to grow your business. It does have it within the standard and advanced. Uh, all of them have fraud analysis, of course, that's what you want. And of course, with the percent and rates, it is a little bit different. Of course, the more you pay, the less rates you have. And the differences as well with the advanced, which is Shopify and the basic, uh, is that you have duties and import taxes. Uh, well, as if you pick the advanced and not the Shopify and basic, you do not need to worry about the duties and import taxes. So that's something as well to note. And of course, uh, for those who are deciding to have a bigger, more enterprised business, there is a other alternative, which is, of course, uh, Shopify Plus. So that's if you're only profiting and you have a margin of about more than a million uh, per annum. So that's that would be quite a lot. And then, so of course, the billing rate would be at around two thousand dollars for uh, per month. Uh, of course. We'll go ahead and select this. Uh, you would actually have to maybe call the sales team uh, just to see uh, what best prices they can offer you as well. So we'll just go back. And of course, they also have a uh, starter pack, which is at five pound uh, per month. And you can, of course, sell products through social and messaging apps. So that's another 
option for you to select too as well. So it's pretty much just jumping in and selling straight away. So that's some of the options for the pricing on Shopify. So hopefully that gives you a clear idea on the pricing. So now that we had a good idea on the actual pricing, we'll go ahead and see how we can get started in creating our Shopify store. Now, first of all, you wanna go ahead and get yourself organized. Now that just means wireframes, setting up a plan. So as you can see with the picture there, um, this individual is actually creating a wireframe was well, sketch of a wireframe, so uh, pretty much just things that you may necessarily want. It could be having a FAQ page, where you would want the uh, FAQ to be, how you would want to set up your header, if it's going to be a sticky header or a still header. It's just basically a way to grab a or get a solid foundation on some of the things that you may want to have for your website. So now would be the time to put everything that you want into the actual site uh, before you forget. Of course, there's no point building a website without any form of plan as you will just end up having to either redo or you'll have mistakes along the way. Next, of course, is choosing a website template. That just means the themes. Now there's paid for and free themes to actually use on the Shopify store. So you can go ahead and pick one out. The default theme is the Dawn theme and we'll look at that later on in the video and I'll also show you some of the different themes that are free and paid for. Next of course is the customization of your website. Now that's fairly easy, uh, that's what we'll be looking into uh, for this video. So to customize your website, it just requires to have a theme. There's a green button uh, along the dashboard where it shows you each of the individual steps that you take. And everything's pretty much very, very easy to locate and use. Of course, your next step would be choosing a domain. That's just a way and a means for your visitors to easily find your website. Of course, with us, we're called Profile Tree, so our one's profiletree.com. So that's just an example of, the, uh, of a domain. Now in terms, if you do have a domain already, all you would need to do is make sure that it's pointed to the correct area. Uh, this could be with the name servers, of course, or uh, with your A records, C name records, so things like that. Next, of course, uh, you would want to optimize your website for search engines. That's mainly to do with the SEO, which is called search engine optimization. Now that's very, very important for your website. And you can actually choose to have apps and features within the Shopify store to help boost the actual traffic and ranking of that specific website. Then of course you would want to launch it. Now when you are launching it, just be sure that once everything's published that you check over it again ensure that there's no uh, issues at all and of course keep coming back to it. even use social media as a means to try to boost your site as well to gain some attention so that's the six steps on how you would get started necessarily for a Shopify or any sort of uh, website at all now as well as that you want to make sure that you take the necessary steps to actually add some products to your store so you would create some product listings in Shopify, add products or add product descriptions and images and make sure, uh, sure you set up collections and categories so you can organize your products like men's section, women's section, shoes, um, vintage clothing, things like that. Then of course what you want to do is for the next sort of step you would want to manage your order and payments. And that's pretty much just setting up payment gateways on Shopify Make sure that you're fulfilling orders and shipping products to the customers and make sure that you're handling and refunding uh, the items correctly. More importantly, then you would, of course, want to promote your store and generate those sales. There's, of course, some tips uh, to driving that traffic uh, for your store. 
through social media, SEO, and the use of other channels. Um, Shopify has its own built-in marketing features to boost sales, and you have to have a marketing strategy for your store. So now that we've run through um, some of the steps and necessary um, features basically just to push forward into creating a successful Shopify store. We're gonna go ahead and do a step-by-step -step guide on how to edit and change things about and how to navigate through the Shopify dashboard. Okay, so just gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide now on the actual customization of your website. So the process to get into the actual Shopify itself is easy enough. All you would need to do is just sign up, either use a Google account uh, or a Facebook account or an Apple ID, and then you'll, you'll be able to access the actual Shopify, or you can create a brand new account with Shopify themselves. Now, once you've answered a couple of questions like naming the store um, and a good few other ones as well, which I'll actually just uh, go ahead and show you. So basically on the top right, just select the start free trial. Now it'll tell you um, basically a couple of questions just to get started. So uh, you can say you're just getting started or you're already selling online or in person. So just select that. Now it'll say, where would you like to sell? An online store, social media, in person, online marketplaces, an existing website or blog. Now, depending if you want to answer that, you can do so, or you can choose to skip or select I'm not sure. Now, it'll say what you plan to sell first, uh, drop shipping products, products I buy or make myself, print on demand products I'll decide later. Then it'll ask you to name the store. And once you've selected uh, to name the store, it'll load up for you and then you'll reach the actual dashboard. Now, when you're going ahead and navigating your way through the dashboard, uh, you actually get a setup guide, which is directly the first thing you'll see. So it's asking us where you can uh, I can add my first product and that's simple enough to do so. So of course I'll just select this and get into that account. So when adding a product, of course, I would have my title. You can have your description, some media, of course, which is going to be some video or some image work on that. Uh, and of course, you can also have some 3D models. Now with the pricing as well. So say that I have my item at $59.99 and then I don't have to charge ta tax on this product, so say I'm not charging tax. And then the cost per item, say I paid £9.99 for it. It also straight away gives you the uh, profit and your margin as well, which is at 83.3%, so that's just one of the examples there. You can track, uh, track your inventory, as you can see. Uh, and within your shop locations as well. You can have the option to continue selling when you're out of stock. You can provide an SKU or a barcode as well. Of course, you've also got your shipping there where you can include your shipping weight, uh, include some customs information as well. You've got variants and search engine listings. So that's pretty much just the first part of adding a product. Now it's fairly easy to do just by adding them in. Of course you can add files as well. Uh, you'll actually get another screen opening in the, up there, either your file explorer. And then of course, once you are happy enough, you could just select the save. And that takes a little bit of, uh, just a wee minute to actually load up and there you go the first uh, product is now added so if we go back to the home as you can see we've added our first product uh, we've named our store we've customized the online store and then now we can add a custom domain now with custom domains as well also gives you a uh, YouTube tutorial so that's great 
a couple of guides to help you follow through and see where you're going um, going on. Uh, so you can either buy or connect a domain. So there's one there where I'm able to go ahead and use GoDaddy or a third party like Google domains as well to connect an existing domain. Or if I don't already have one, I can go ahead and select to buy a domain. Now, if I used profile trade as an example, so just say, just say I said profiletree.com. Uh, as you can see, it's, it is unavailable, which is understandable since we now own that domain. But say we wanted to open a store, so I could do profiletree dot um, store. And there you go, as you can see, I've got a little tick mark there, which uh, says that it is available to purchase and that it'll be at nine US dollars for the first year. Now, if I buy that, gives me probably some details on the billing, as you can see. So it just redirects me to the billing. And that's where I would add my address and the payment methods. So the, just the usual for getting set up. And of course, once you follow through with that uh, to set up the online store, that's when you want to start looking into the actual store settings. So where you're complying with UK privacy requirements or uh, of course, just privacy requirements overall. Then of course you would have your Shopify payments as well, uh, where you can also set your shipping rates and some of the VAT. And as well as that, you can also invite your friends so you can have a $100 subscription credit. So that could probably help you out with your plans. Now you could see your customers as well. Some of the customers here, uh, your content, uh, some of the products that you've added in. So you can see that the vendor is Profile Tree because that's the name of the website here. And that we have zero in stock. Of course, we would have to change and modify that. Of course, I could do a bulk edit as well. Uh, there's online store and point of sale. Now, going into the customization of the actual site, it's easy enough. So this is pretty much just how it looks uh, when you're setting up. Of course, you've got your header, um, your template here and your footer. It's uh, easy enough to add some sections as well. And you can go ahead and play about with the actual site itself. And on top of that, I can go ahead and add some app embeds. So app embeds is basically features that you can use for ranking and SEO. So this one uh, can increase your sales with progressive shipping goal messages. Uh, let's just see if we search up SEO, we'll get a bit better understanding on it as well. So these, so this one here is an upsell uh, for email marketing. So there's another one there. You've got used SEO as well, which is increased organic traffic, technical SEO and get rich results. So that something like that as well. So quite a few options to use. So I'd let you guys just flick through that and uh, go through some of the categories. Uh, but yes, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. So it's very fairly straightforward to use the Shopify website builder. It shouldn't take too much complication. Of course, it can be a little bit of a struggle when you are starting off, but once you get the hang of it, uh, of course, you'll just progressively get better when creating your first websites and setting up as well for potentially another business. Uh, but hopefully I've covered everything there. Uh, of course, uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear them. And other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for, for watching.